Well, the state police is investigating a probable Myanmar link in the recent blast that killed three persons in ISOL. In a significant breakthrough, the ISOL police today unearthed noteworthy details about the powerful blast that rocked ISOL on March 18th. The blast, which reportedly occurred in a pickup truck at an automobile workshop in Dutland Road, was so powerful that it partially damaged as many as nine buildings nearby. Speaking exclusively to Northeast Live, Mizoram DIG of headquarters, Lal Biak Thanga Kiangte informed that the police are investigating a probable Myanmar link to the blast. In this connection, they have already recovered Myanmar currencies from the deceased pickup owner's wallet, giving rise to suspicion that the detonators might have been smuggled from Myanmar. On March 18, oh, there, is, there was a huge explosion at Durtlang Walve along Selesi, Zhuangdui Road. And when we check it and we call FSL uh, staff and we find many remnants of uh, this uh, detonator. This is highly explosive detonator. And we also find several such uh, detonator not yet uh, exploded. That is a, a commercial quantity. Uh, that was in the workshop uh, carried by one uh, pickup vehicle. We assume that the pickup vehicle must have entered in that uh, particular workshop and when they are trying to do some welding work on the body of that uh, pickup vehicle, it must have charged and exploded several such detonators. As a result, three persons died who were on the spot and one is still uh, fighting for his life in the hospital. There is indicative of this connection. Of course, we know this, uh, this situation in Myanmar. It is possible that there is some connection, but the investigation will reveal. We also see uh, some Burma, chiat, Burma currency. Mm -hmm a small quantity of uh, Myanmar, Myanmar currency uh, during the course of investigation. Uh, that actual connection we have yet to establish. Mm -hmm. So investigation, we are doing what we can mm -hmm. and all out effort we will make. It may be recalled that on December 31st, 2021, a joint operation of Assam Rifles and Mizoram Police recovered huge cache of explosives in an abandoned location near the Indo-Myanmar border in Siaha district. The recovered explosives include 81 kgs of liquid explosives, 94 kgs of Bellox granular explosives, 395 kgs of gelatin sticks, 356 rounds of 12 gauge, a large cache of 70 mm cartridges, an improvised explosive device, lead acid batteries, two detonators and other stores, including foreign origin communication equipment. Again on February 27, the joint operation seized a huge stash of explosives at Nyantlon in a Siaha district. Well, two persons were also arrested in connection with the seizure. Preliminary investigation had revealed that the consignments were heading to Myanmar to support the action of Chinland Defence Force, which is fighting against the military regime.